too. In Swedish, it means young. I don't know how old or young he is, but it probably means something different in Danish. Fun to see how he's just battling in a in a blouse. Casual outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Three, okay. Three, two. All one. right, let's go. Let's go. Nice. Max Tuzani comes for life. Some toe touch. Don't see that that much often. And let's see what he can do here. Come on, first. Low. A bit basic upper, but nice anyway. Back to the sit. I love the style on the sit up. Very cool. Oh, nice round. All right, for Oh, replying a bit. Also with a magnet. Another magnet. Nice. You know a funny fact about Corwin? He has 97 match balls. Huh? Corwin has 97 match balls. No, you're kidding me. Adidas, match balls, 97. He's the freestyler with the biggest collection. I wish I could trade with him. Not only with the match balls, also with his uh, level. Well, it's worth, it's worth a fortune. Yeah. Well, I like the little spinny thing he does. That's cool. Nice. Goes with the sit down flow. Yes. And, and he drops, drops yeah. nothing. Like, serious. If I were him, I would like to not take risks now. Because he has dropped nothing. So, Corbin has to come with uh, something great now. Apply it with offers. Yeah, it seems like uh, what Oom doing is, is a bit smoother than, than Corbin. Corbin uh, with uh, now a stage drop. You know, another drop in the lowers. Ooh. This will cost him the medal, I think. Oh! Oh, let me see. Johnny. Oh, goes off the stage, almost. I think this is quite a hard medal to judge. Yeah. But Oom does like all that Mr. Zani, but it wasn't even like necessary. He could have saved it like with an easier trick. But that's always the thing with like drops. If you do harder stuff, you drop more. Yeah, you yeah. drop more, but it wasn't necessary, I thought. Because uh, here, another look, Corbin, Corbin drops, just drops too much, you know? So it wasn't necessary to go with that, but. But uh, the, the tricks that the room, uh, uh, has dropped now is not, uh, you know, it will not make a big difference in the result of it. But it's always hard on stage to decide if you are going to say things and play it simple or just like have to go all out. Yes, yes. Because it, it, yeah, you are so focused like on yourself, when, when right? You're, when you're in you space, know, yeah. do you always go for the max? Or do you sometimes try you to play it safe somehow, like yourself? I had like, a, I have also like a bit of trouble with understanding like, do I have the battle or not, yes. you know? So it's really uh, difficult to see, but on the other hand, if you like have confidence that you did well, you should always just try in the third round, I think, not to drop. Yes, 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 makes sense. It, it, it all also shows to the judges like uh, that you've got the feeling that you've won it and and you, you, you can play it safe and you save something for next round. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe that also makes an impression on the judges. But I think you can uh, say that better than me because I think that, but you're a judge. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've judged many competitions, but for me, it's always about, it's like, find, like in freestyle, for me, it's always about finding the balance. You know what I mean? Like, you want to do hard stuff, but if you do hard stuff, you drop more. Yeah. If you, if you play it safe, maybe play it too safe. So the other guy has a better difficulty. So it's always about going somewhere in halfway, I think. Yeah. But it depends on the person, of course. Mighty Mike should be in the top 16. Yeah, that's definitely. Greetings cool. uh, to uh, Alex Yates from the UK. You're a legend, bro. But you're in the rookie, man. Huh? You're in the rookie. Yeah, I'm in the rookie final, man. Just